Welcome, welcome, welcome to the very first episode of Real Talk with Z. I'm excited about what I have to share with you today. I'm just getting back from a conference that took place in Dallas. My band went, we had a big band performance. There's a lot of great musicians in one place, thousands of people, band directors from all over, college bands, people from all over the country and some from other parts of the world gathered into one place to share music, to share education, to share love for jazz. There are just a few big things that I wanted to share based on this trip. Three things that Jen Conference taught me about networking. For those of you who know me and maybe follow me on social media or have kept up with different conversations that I've had with you about things um, education wise and music performance wise, I'm always talking about how important it is to get to know other people and finding other people that can help you get to where you need to go. So the very first thing I learned about networking from Gen Conference is do not be afraid of small talk. The small talk leads to big opportunities. That was something that I've learned before and is now coming back again. And no matter where I go, whether it's about music, whether it's about life, whether it's about leadership, or even things involved in church. If you know people who can see your vision or can hear your thoughts on something and your goals, they can help you get where you need to go. Those are the people you wanna connect with. And sometimes it's not always about how many famous people can I meet? How many people with big names doing big things can I meet? Although those opportunities do give you exposure, they help you to align with people who are very knowledgeable about your, your subject matter. Who are you connecting with that is gonna take you to where you need to go or knows people that can take you where you need to go? I was in line getting some food at Gen Conference and you know I'm looking at what I had in my hand. I had some M&Ms, some Pop-Tarts, and some Hot Pockets. And I looked at the guy standing in front of me and I said, I know, all healthy food, right? I didn't have to say that, but for whatever reason I did. And it led to a conversation that showed me that he knew somebody that I had been looking for at the conference. So it was a great opportunity and it, it led to him saying, hey, we're gonna be at the exhibits downstairs tomorrow at this time, come check out the booth. So I did that. And then a lot of other talk and conversation about work and exposure to different things in jazz came out of that. The next thing I would say is important when it comes to networking is to be extremely, extremely clear about what you want to do. If I want to be a better basketball player, that's a pretty broad statement. Now I could say, I want to be a, I want to be a better basketball player. And then I meet somebody who's an amazing shooter, but maybe their defense isn't, you know, what I aspire. Well, me going to them and asking about shooting specifically is probably going to be extremely beneficial to me because that's what I want to learn how to do. So as opposed to just saying, I would like to be a better jazz musician, well maybe my focus is jazz education or maybe my focus or a goal I'm striving for is to be a better writer for young jazz musicians. Well then all of a sudden the topic of conversation changes because it's not just about I want to play my instrument better. So don't get me wrong, that's a huge part of it. The more specific thing is these elements of being a jazz musician. And so that person can either lead you to people who are strong in writing, strong in teaching, or maybe it's the person you're talking to directly who has those answers that you need. So as clear as you can be about what you want to do and what you want to get out of the connection, the easier it is for them to help you because unless you're clear about what you do, they don't know what you have to offer as well. Someone is either somewhere you're trying to go or they know someone who's where you're trying to go. Wherever you are, you want to keep moving forward in your growth and in, and in what you want to do and those opportunities you have to take advantage of. And the last big thing I learned about networking from this week is that if you do not ask, you will never know. All right, if you met you know, your favorite saxophone player at the conference or you met your favorite saxophone player 
um, at a concert you went to and you never ask them if they gave lessons, if you never ask them if they would be willing to look over some of your music, then you're automatically, you know, reducing the amount of opportunities you could have from that point of connection, from that network, from that person you just met. So you have to go into a networking situation thinking of things that you could ask the person that could benefit you. And if you go into it like, oh no, this person would never want to give me lessons or they would never want to spend their time talking to me, then you are automatically discounting what could come of this situation. Get their information. If they're willing to give their email, if they're willing to give their um, cell phone number, any point that could help them stay in contact with you, make sure you ask. And then if they say, hey, I'm not really comfortable giving out my cell phone number, but here's my email. You know, take advantage of those situations and then follow up. Hey, it was nice to meet you. Looking forward to X, Y, Z. Those types of things help people remember who you are. And the next time you see them, you have, an, you have that point of reference. You cannot do everything by yourself. A lot of things today, whether it's music or otherwise, is about who you know and your connection to them and what they say about you. So don't just think that because you know so-and-so, that's your ticket in. It's also about the consistency in your relationship with that person and how they can vouch for your character and the things that you do have to offer. So if you say you're gonna commit to working with this person on this and they get to see your growth, that is automatically building your resume, not just because you met the person, but because they can vouch for you. Again, these things don't just apply to music, but apply to other areas of life and things that you're interested in. So I hope that you can use them. I'm looking forward to posting more videos like this and really just sharing everyday life things. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe.